dinner now the kitchen is really the hub of the household here with tips on organ and please I hope my wife is watching <laughs> please uh, with tips on organizing it's Patty Claire how are you Patty? Good. Hi thanks for having me. Now, now some people have like neat things like this some people have cabinets that may look like mine maybe not quite as neat but you can help people get organized with your keeping it simple. Right, right. and the great thing is your cabinets for less uh, very little money can look like this because all of these products here believe it or not they came from Bed Bath & Beyond or Target and okay. I did not I think everything here was probably less than $90. So you really can have organized cabinets and maximize the space in your house. Um, so we have to think, like, like some people just take all this stuff and have it one right behind the other, whereas you have said we're going to put it we're going to go vertical, right. we're going to move up. Right, with how many uses we have for our kitchens today, we're trying to store more and more things in our kitchen with less and less space. So I always tell my clients, think vertical. That way you can see everything you have, you don't lose track of it, and you maximize the space. So right from the little three-tier um, shelving unit that allows you to see everything to what is my favorite, of course, is the carousel, because these are things you use every day. You um, want to access them, and they, they don't get lost, and you have you have actually just given yourself a second shelf. In I use this every day, <laughs> all day, every Me day. Me too. Okay, excellent. Um, and then, you know, other way, ways to maximize the space is, is just something simple as this. I've even seen people who've used old file folder holders okay. to use this for your, your pans, your baking tins, your cutting boards. It's a great way to have access to everything, not lose track of them and be able to have them organized in a cabinet. Now let me ask you an important question in case my wife is listening. Before <laughs> you start to organize, don't you first have to say what do I actually need to keep? That's exactly right, and that's I will address that later okay. on in our segment, and okay. it will be a very important part of it all. And then, of course, this is great because it adds yet another shelving. Rather than stacking plates and, and bowls and dinner dishes, it, just by adding this simple little thing, which has probably been not more than $5, you can add a whole nother shelf and use that extra space between one shelf and another in your kitchen. It makes kitchen. a lot of sense, okay. Now, what do you have over here? Well, and the other thing is, once you run out of cabinet space, you can't always forget that you have the wonderful cabinet doors. Now, of course, this one doesn't fit on this one, but it's, uh, it's a great example of something just hanging over the edge. All of a sudden, all the pot pans and lids which you need and take up space in the cabinet, it's really great to have them on the door because it just frees up other space. And same with this, just putting this on the inside holds a lot of different things that you might be able to put in a drawer, but if you don't have the drawer space, it's a great way to add extra space to your kitchen. Okay. Now this looks kind of neat here. This looks like it would be yeah, high this tech. this is great. You know, a lot of our older kitchens here in the area are beautiful, but they have very deep cabinets. They are like a black hole. This is a very simple solution. It's a a slide out of course and basically it's very simple to install inside of a cabinet I've done it for uh, people before and if I can do it anyone can do it and basically it just allows you to see everything it just slides out it comes out about probably two-thirds to three-quarters of the way you have full access to the whole length of the cabinet you can see everything and okay. if this isn't your stick uh, something very simple just you as a basket you right. just pull out the basket and it uses everything the whole length of the cabinet before we run out of time I want to talk because where this is Patty Claire from Keeping It Simple. Now I got to talk about this. Some people we have these big things that we never use. Why are they sitting in the cabinets? Right. The real question you want to look at when you're looking at cabinet space that is an optimum is: Is it worth the space it's taking up? And this is a lovely bread machine. It's a throwback from the '90s. If you use it zero to one time a year, uh, it's probably not worth the space it's taking up. I can up. buy bread. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> Eliminate all that. My gosh. Well, Patty, thank you so much. I'm hoping my wife is listening. If not, we'll call you and come by your house and take a look around. Okay. Sounds great. Thanks, Thanks for so having much. Me. Thank all you. All right, David. <laughs> okay.